Hello, I'm Robert Matthew and welcome to CPVLab.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk you through what CPV Lab is and exactly what it can do for you. Uh, now, just so you know, CPV Lab is a self-hosted script. Uh, it's dedicated to testing, tracking, and optimizing CPV advertising. And as far as I know, to date, it's the only dedicated solution uh, on the market for CPV. And now this whole thing actually came about uh, just from really my frustration uh, from lack of flexibility uh, within the tools on the market that were being used uh, for CPV. Now I'm going to show you this here. Let's log into one of the test installs. I'm going to try to keep these, this video as, uh, as short as possible. This thing is a monster, so there is a lot to cover. Uh, okay, so we're logging in now. Here you see the uh, campaigns page. Uh, this is the, uh, the page that you land on anytime you log into CPV Lab. And you'll see here now, uh, direct link and landing page campaigns, that's more your traditional uh, setup. And beyond that, though, uh, CPV Lab gives you the ability to run five other campaign types as well. And yes, even email follow-up campaigns, which are you know emails you're actually sending to your list. And there's a big reason for that, which I'm going to show you in the stats here shortly. Uh, so first here on this, on this uh, campaigns page, you'll see you have the campaign ID. Uh, well, first off, each campaign, uh, everything is broken up by the campaign type, and then you'll see all the campaigns listed under each type. Uh, now it shows you the campaign ID, the campaign name, uh, the date added. Uh, last update, this is actually for the report section, which I'm going to explain here in a few moments. Uh, you can see your views in real time as well as your profit loss in real time for each campaign as long as you are using a tracking pixel. And the stats, you can jump to the stats for each campaign, the reports, the trends. Uh, you can edit the campaign. Uh, clone it. This is a huge time saver here. Uh, by clicking this, it's going to duplicate the selected campaign where all you need to do is give it a new name and save it and you're, you're off and running. Uh, you can delete campaigns and reset the overall stats. So first, let's jump in. I want to cover the campaign types just so you're clear on what all these are. Uh, now, just so you know, uh, let me show you a visual. Uh, this is the ad campaigns page. Uh, this is just a visual menu of the different campaign types you can run. Uh, you can bypass this completely, by the way, just using the drop-down menu. And uh, here you'll see uh, the different campaign types. And I want to show you actually bigger versions of these just to make it a little easier on the eyes. But uh, one thing I want to point out. Within CPV Lab, everything is extremely straightforward. Uh, the campaign setup process is extremely fast and simple. Uh, you don't have to be a master PHP coder or anything like that. Uh, everything is really straightforward and just easy to use. Uh, and now here you'll see we're in a direct link campaign. Uh, this is when we add a new campaign. Uh, you can upload campaigns from uh, the CSV files that you will be provided. Uh, you have one for each campaign type, so you can build an entire campaign offline and then upload it into CPV Lab. Uh, next, you have you know your campaign name, campaign ID. Now, these are just the general settings uh, for the campaign, and this is pretty much the same across every campaign type. Uh, so you have your predefined source. Uh, CPV Lab comes loaded with the majority of the most popular CPV networks today. Uh, you can easily add more if yours is not listed from the settings page. And next, I want to cover the engage rate. Uh, what this is, this is great for popover campaigns. And what you can do here is enter in a variable, so we'll, I usually use three seconds. And what this is going to do is, uh, you'll see in the stats section, it's going to show you per target uh, how long, what percentage of those views actually stayed on that page longer than the, uh, the interval that you enter here. And the stats CPV, uh, you'll notice we have stats and reports. Uh, stats are in real time and these are used, uh, the metrics are calculated with this uh, general cost per view that you enter here and also using the tracking pixel. Uh, now reports are the hard data where you actually upload your spending reports and also any types of sub-ID reports and it's going to merge all that data. Uh, it's the same as stats, it's just the hard data. Uh, so it's going to give you the most accurate spending and also, you know, conversions and revenue uh, for each campaign. Uh, so we'll enter in, you know, general CPV here, three cents. And now you can pass your targets to the landing page extremely easy. All you do is check this box. You'll see down here at the bottom, pass target to uh, LP variable. You just add this to your landing page wherever you want the target to be displayed. Save that as a PHP page and you're, you're set to go. 
Uh, now, one thing within the direct link campaign that I want to point out, uh, direct link and landing pages campaign, that I want to point out is you can do direct link, and you'll see, as usual, uh, across the board here, you can always rotate through multiple offers, multiple landing pages, and everything is done on a weighted share percentage. And you can also edit these on the fly uh, and you know completely remove an offer from the rotation without ever touching your actual CPV network uh, campaign. Uh, you can use landing pages, and you can also do split. Now this is a, an interesting feature here because uh, when you, sometimes when you run, you know, depending on the offer, you may have, uh, you know, you're, you don't know whether to direct link it or to use a landing page with it. Where when you do split, what it's going to do is send 50% of the traffic to the landing pages and 50% of the traffic direct link to the offers. So you can easily see uh, the effectiveness of using landing pages versus just direct linking to the offer. And you'll see here uh, these buttons are pretty much uh, standard across every campaign type. You can add as many landing pages and as many offers as you need. And now here's the setup process. This is really simple. Uh, this is your campaign uh, destination URL that you'll use at your CPV network. Uh, you just edit your links on your landing pages, add this code, place your pixel at the network, and you're set to go. It's extremely simple. I really can't emphasize that enough. And uh, all right, so let's move on to the other campaign types here. So direct link, you can use landing pages uh, and multiple offers. Uh, so let's move on to the next, which is multiple option campaigns. Uh, these are great for catalog style and review style landing pages. And you can have as many options as you want. And also on the click through from the landing page, each option can rotate through multiple offers. And I can actually show you an example of that. Here is a dating uh, landing page. This is a multiple option campaign. And what happens here, we have two options, nice and naughty. So when they click on naughty, it's going to rotate through uh, your more risque type dating sites uh, like Adult Friend Finder, Fling.com, uh, sites like that. Now when you click on nice, it's going to rotate through your more traditional dating sites uh, such as Match.com, Mate1, Zeusk, things like that. Uh, so that's just an example of a multiple option page, a uh, multiple option campaign, I'm sorry. And you'll see here, I'll actually jump into one of those. And you'll see here you can add as many options as you want very easily. And now the next campaign type is the multiple path. Uh, now this can be a huge time saver. A path consists of a single or multiple landing pages that are built around a specific offer. Uh, I mean, in most cases, a branded landing page is going to convert better than a generic one. Uh, but the problem with that is if you have two offers that you'd like to run that really fit the same market or audience, uh, you would have to use two separate campaigns. Where with this, you can do all that testing from one CPV campaign. Uh, you can have as many paths as you want. And I can actually show you an example of this as well. Uh, here you go. Here is a BizOp offer. Now this is for one particular offer. As you see, we're actually using uh, one of their testimonials on the page. Uh, some of their credibility sources. Uh, so it's branded specifically for this offer. Now here's another one uh, that is branded for this particular offer. And this is just a separate path. Uh, and you can see we actually have multiple uh, landing pages for this offer here, promoting this offer. Uh, so now with a multiple path campaign again, I can jump into that. You'll see all this pretty much stays the same. Path one, path two, path three. And you can add as many paths as you want. And so the next is lead capture campaigns.